Hello, this is Tristan from heartratemonitor.co.uk. This is our fourth video on the Garmin Forerunner 235 GPS runner's watch. Uh, everything we say in this video applies also to the Garmin Forerunner 230. The only difference being the 235, as well as accepting heart rate from the belt, also has the Garmin Elevate LED system on the back, so it will give heart rate off the wrist. This video is all about Garmin Connect IQ apps and how they work and what it means because it's a bit confusing. We've got apps, data fields, widgets. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember. It's a bit confusing and um, hopefully this will maybe clear it up. If you want to see uh, uh, the other videos, please um, click on the links uh, below or subscribe to our channel and you'll find them all there. Okay, so this video we're going to look at the apps, what it means. Um, let's look at the easiest one, which is screen views. This is a really popular feature of this watch is that you can have a customized screen view uh, and that's not particularly difficult to um, to get your head around. We just go into the um, main settings of the watch and then find system and then clock and then watch face and these are some of the Connect IQ versions I've I've downloaded. So let's just take Simplicity Time, which we're now using, and go back. And now we have a nice analog watch face. Now let's just show you how how that how we got that. In the excuse the glare there in the IQ store. You can see there's a load of these apps for the 235. And what you've got is applications, data fields, and watch faces, and widgets. Okay, now this one I've just shown you came from watch faces. Data fields get pigeonholed into your options setting up your training views so in your bike view for example under the bike profile you have uh, the choice of setting the data field so speed altitude elevation distance etc and anything you take from here will be put into the data fields as a, as a selectable option widgets you get from pressing the down arrow on on the watch so if you get a widget it will appear here in the main sort of home screen same way that you get the weather there, that's a Garmin widget. Um, you get any new widgets here. Okay, I think, what have we got there? Oh yeah, this is a weather. So I've downloaded the AccuWeather widget there. So it's just gathering the data from my phone there for that. So that's where the widgets go. Let's go back to um, the data fields. So there's data fields. We can go into data fields. Now I have selected a data field from here. I found one for uh, running for a 10k a, a 10k race predictor. So is the 4235 does have a uh, predictor, but it's it's a separate um, application as such. So this is actually embedding it into my into my running profile so it's easier if I show you what I mean excuse the glare okay so we'll press start we're already in run and now you'll see there at the top 10k predict predictor so that will tell me as I'm running what it predicts my finish time to be of the 10k race um, you've got that bar there right now because it's looking for a GPS but there's a 10k predictor on the top. Now I put that there using the activity settings, data screens, screen one. In the field there, because I've added data fields, they go in here into my um, IQ 
options. So the same way you've got timer fields, distance fields, pace fields, we now have connect IQ options. So data field options get put into your training views. Like that. Okay. Um, let's see if the weather's updated yet. Please wait until forecast is available. Okay. Right. I have to say that I've tried a few, some of them just don't work. Now, whether or not that's me, my phone, or the application itself, or the widget, I don't know. But this particular widget seems to be taking its time. It's got a lot of feedback, says it's a good widget, so hopefully it's, there we go. Press start for more. Rain for at least 120 minutes. Oh, there we go. So yeah, that shows a widget works. Um, so that's widgets, data screens we've seen in training view, uh, which is there, and watch views we've seen are in here. I could have gone up then, it would have been quicker. Under settings, and then clock. Um, let's choose a different one. Some of them are awful, some of them are great. Uh, this one I think just doesn't work for me. It's full of pretty cluttered. It looks good, but um, for my eyes it's rubbish. But uh, if you've got great eyes, it's probably good. Um, let's just go back to the phone. If we just go to the Garmin devices. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a problem focusing here. This is my 235, and I can see the applications widget, watch faces, and data fields that I've um, uploaded. Um, these two, uh, GMAP and Stopwatch, I haven't showed you those yet, sorry. So applications are the only ones I haven't covered. Applications. Go. Normally when you press this button you have the four options of run, bike, outdoor, sorry, indoor run or other. You'll now see we've got run, IQ apps. So these are apps, these are where the applications go. Other, bike and indoor run. So let's go to IQ Apps, and I've got a Google Maps app and a stopwatch. So these are not written by Garmin necessarily, these are written by users, uh, and this is great, it's a stopwatch. Press start, down to lap and hold to review laps, so let's try it. Start, lap, lap lap review there we are we can go through the options and back to the stopwatch stop reset perfect it works brilliantly um, I have to say they don't all work this Google Maps one I've been playing with for some time now and uh, uh, even when it's got the GPS signal it says downloading maps for a long time now again it could be my phone's not working brilliantly with this some of them work, some of them don't. They're all free anyway. So that's applications. So I'll give you a quick summary. We've got watch faces, apps, which appear with the, the current main four functions of the watch. And then we've got data fields which you will view within an application with one, one of your sports profiles and then finally we have the widgets and the widgets appear on the home screen 
Uh, there we go. I have to say that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, so it's Tristan from heartratemonitor.co.uk. Please, 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 if you're thinking of buying any Garmin product, please click on the link in the um, description, which goes to our preferred uh, online partner. Uh, much appreciated if you can do that. Uh, thanks for watching. Any questions, please use the website, contact us, and uh, we'll or use the um, feedback, the comments form uh, on on YouTube here. Okay, thank you very much. Please visit heartratemonitor.co.uk and please do click the link to our shopping partner. Thank you. Bye-bye.